Might as All right, guys. Strap in. She's back. Former 5th District Congressperson Kendra Horn has announced her run for United States Senate. Can she do it? We'll see. We will see. Let's watch, let's watch her announcement video, though. Minute 45. All sick and tired of politics as usual, especially when there is so much work to be done. Things are more divided than ever, and our leaders are more extreme than we are. We can't keep going down this same path, electing people who pit us against our friends and neighbors. That's not the Oklahoma way. You've heard me say it before, and I'll say it again. Elected offices don't belong to a political party. They belong to the people. That's why in Congress, I worked across the aisle to deliver real results that matter. Safe housing for service members, improved infrastructure for our communities, support to small businesses, and taxpayer money back into the hands of working Oklahomans. As a fifth generation Oklahoman, I come from hardworking people who live the Oklahoma standard, rooted in service to their communities always showing up for each other, especially when times are hard, because we are in this together. We don't always have to agree, but we do need to talk to each other. I got knocked down, but I got back up because I'm not done fighting for Oklahoma. And that's why I'm running for U.S. Senate. This won't be easy, but things worth fighting for never are. When I first ran for Congress, people told me I didn't stand a chance. But we prove them wrong, together. And we'll do it again, together. Now who's with me? Well, so there's that. At least she recognizes that it's going to be hard. Um, I, I'm glad Sense that she's honesty, got like, an air of um, clarity around her. But... I mean, it's your generic, I'm running for something, and I ran for something before and lost my re-election, so. Uh. I have toast more spicy than her. <laughs> Sorry, just reading comments in chat. Um, yeah, I mean, exactly, right? I mean, it's, it's generic. It's kind of well done. That one transition in the middle was a little rough, but you know, it was, she uh, well? um, yeah, she, she's, she's a good candidate. I mean, she audio book. That's for sure. She's got a great voice, but like, yeah. Does she have our trust back? Like, does she have our support? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, we'll see. I mean, it, you know, I think she will do a solid job. Yeah, I mean, the reach across the aisle stuff. I mean, it's like, yeah, reach across the aisle and do what? Like, the party of Marjorie Taylor Greene? Like, what is there to reach across? Like, the burnt remains of, like, democracy? Like, what are you, like, anyway. We'll see. I mean, it, it'll it'll play to a lot of donors that like to fund that sort of stuff. Um, I guess there's some of these people out there that are still like, Hmm, I could be an insurrectionist, but Kendra Horn's really nice, so I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Um it's cool. You know, I, I, I do think there needs to be some red meat for the base of the Democratic Party, which, you know, stands for hopefully something. Anyway, I'm waiting for that candidate to emerge that can uh bring a little bit of spice, bring a little bit of excitement, bring a little bit of something. And, uh, like, I think there's a way to be a moderate candidate. I, I will say, like, the, the ad I always liked of Kendra's the most was the one where she was, like, posing with the Jones mayor, the mayor of Jones, and, like, talking about some bridge project she did and, like, had her hard hat on and all that jazz. I, I do think those are good ads. Like, I, I do think, I do think selling that the government does a lot and can do more and fixes actual problems is like always a good campaign ad if I were a politician, but you know, yeah, the super generic stuff, I know, I guess it appeal, it does appeal to a certain group, but I, you know, I just have to think that that group is either already voting for you or I don't know, like, yeah. And it feels like that group is dwindling because it's uh, yeah. just like, they're accepting, I, you know, just like basic, 
I don't know, stunts from people. Yeah. Like, everything she said is basic. We've heard it before from different people. She was honest, which was good, but, like, nothing about that excited me and made me, like, be like, yeah, Kendra Horn, you're gonna do a great job in this campaign. Like, I don't... How many views does that video have? But it has, like, 2,000 likes on Twitter. It's Yeah, 38,000 views. Yeah. I don't know where her support is. I don't know where her people are at, but... We'll see where she goes. Yeah. And it'll be interesting to see how it, like, like pairs up with Joys. I mean, I think they are glad to have, like, a competitive Senate race on the ballot with them. But I just, like, you know, Joy actually has, like, a a pretty demonic opponent, you know, like a, a, an opponent who has high negatives with certain groups. So, like, like, she'll probably have a little more edge to her campaign, I would imagine, when it finally, like, really, like, gets through the primary and, like, goes after stit because the only Um, people who are like confirmed are kendra and what's his name on the democratic side for the inhofe seat it's just i mean the republicans oh no there's a i mean a dozen it's like luke holland and mark wayne mullen and possibly scott pruitt inhofe endorsed and like oh yeah luke 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 holland again like nobody knows who he is it's like his staffer yeah i would never have remembered that name (laughs) yeah yeah, and that's the fear. I mean, uh, I mean, I don't think we have to like worry about that necessarily. Sorry, just comment Athena saying she's she's going to do just as much as any Democrat that is currently in office. Little to nothing. She's going to work harder to gain Republican favor and pass their stuff than anything for us. Yeah, that's what reach across the aisle means. Yeah, I guess. Like I, yeah, it's it's crazy to me. It's like, why do we need another like Joe Manchin or Kristen Cinema in? Anyway, yeah, it's it's wild. I I don't I literally don't know what what the plan is to once you're there, what you plan to do with this sort of like a positioning. But personally, I don't think we have to worry about that because I think statewide races are really pretty far out of t- reach, to be honest. So, you know, we can just uh, look at it, chuckle a little bit, shake our heads. Thanks for watching our video. Please give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you want to engage with us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram.